गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे विल डिस्कस अबाउट द स्टेरियोकेमिकल एस्पेक्ट्स व्हाट डू मीन बाय द स्टेरियोकेमिकल एक्चुअली स्टेरियो मींस रोटेशन ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड केमिकल्स मींस मॉलिक्यूल्स कंपाउंड केमिकल सब्सटेंस ओके सो स्टेरियो केमिकल एस्पेक्ट्स सो इन ए स्टेरियो केमिकल एस्पेक्ट्स बिफोर वी गोइंग टू द टोटल डिस्कशन वी हैव टू लर्न सम इंपोर्टेंट टर्म्स सो फर्स्ट वन इज हियर प्लेन पोलराइज्ड लाइट प्लेन पोलराइज लाइट सो व्हाट डू मीन बाय द प्लेन पोलराइज लाइट इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव लर्न दैट दैट सनलाइट इज ए इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन इन एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर यू हैव लर्न सो इट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक रेडिएशन हैविंग इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एंड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर एंड आल्सो परपेंडिकुलर टू टू द वेव प्रोपगेशन ऑफ द लाइट सो दिस थ्री आर परपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर सो इफ दैट सनलाइट पासेस थ्रू द स्लिट and again passes through the nickel prism one type of substance uh, means uh, that prism is made up of one type of substance so that the sunlight passes through the nickel prism then one of the field it may be electric field it may be magnetic field will absorb in that nickel prism some substance is there then after that that light emit from that nickel prism will pass through the solution which will means uh, for identification of rotation will take in a beaker okay then that then uh, polarized light fall in a stream okay then that light will be rotated by the compound present in the beaker that if it is clockwise rotation then that compound is known as dextro rotatory compound if it uh, rotates the plane polarized light towards left then it is lever rotatory compound you see that some light this one is a slit for taking means one ray okay nickel prism so the solution containing in a beaker which we want to study the rotation that is your stereochemistry of the compound so you see this one is your clockwise this one is your anti clockwise this one is your clockwise means dextro rotatory this one is your anti clockwise this is your lever rotatory okay this one is your screen nickel prism slit sunlight okay clear so this one now this one is your polarized light this is your electromagnetic radiation okay but it is not polarized this one is polarized passes through the solution then it is actually study in a spectrometer that is one spectrometer or polar polarimeter pol inside the polarimeter okay so dextro rotatory lever rotatory dextro means the compound rotates plane polarized light towards right and lever means the compound which rotates plane polarized light towards left clear then second rotation dextro means you can say b or positive okay or towards right like this similarly lebo means l that is a negative that is a towards left clear this is the rotation so next is here 
फर्स्ट बिट सेकेंड बिट नेक्स्ट पीजियर एसिमेट्रिक कार्बन और स्टेरियो सेंटर था एसिमेट्रिक कार्बन और स्टेरियो What do you mean by the asymmetric carbon? The central carbon which contains all four groups are different. Okay. Listen. Suppose I have three three types of imaginary bonds. You see tetrahedral. This is the central carbon. First group, second group, third group, fifth group, all are different. Black, pencil, there is a brown, there is a yellow. So all are different. So, so this type of compound, that carbon centered at the center, that is center is the carbon. Are you visible? So that center is known as stereo center. That carbon is stereo center. Only that carbon. Okay. These are known as spatial arrangement. Spatial arrangement is your tetrahedral. And the bond angle you know, one zero nine point twenty eight minute. Suppose if there is two same group. If there is two same group, it is not stereo center. It cannot rotate the plane polarized light. Okay, it may be towards the left or left. नहीं होगा. If all groups are different, then it will be stereo center. It will rotate the plane polarized light. Okay, so the central carbon which have all the different groups for example c suppose you take uh, cl you take this one is your ch3 you take this one is your stress type we will take this one is your h this is known as stereo center or asymmetric carbon so this are all about then we will discuss the fourth bit okay fourth bit fourth bit is a pyrene and a pyrene pyrene and a pyrene what do you mean by the pyrene and a pyrene suppose You take one mirror, plain mirror. Suppose in this alphabet A, this one is your plain mirror. This side is your reflected side. That part, that side is your reflected side. Then the image will be A. If you take this object on the image, then it will be perfectly overlap. That is known as superimposable. Perfectly overlap. If you take B, you will take B. In this alphabet B, then if there is mirror. Then the image will be opposite, opposite or not? This one is mirror, okay? Image will be means inverted. So if you take this B on the inverted B, then it will be not superimposed, okay? So this one type and this another type. So this is known as not superimposed, known as chiral, and this one is your a chiral. That is a superimposed. non non superimposed kaina e kaina clear so you can take so many examples of objects your right hand and left hand right hand image but not superimposed you see these are two not not overlap this is known as kaina This is known as chiral, non-superimposable, and this type of molecules can be rotated plane polarized light means chiral type. Okay, this type of compound will rotate plane polarized light because all groups are different, so these are not superimposed. Clear? So rotate. Okay, then next is here. 
hydrolator and then racemic mixture or racemization. So previously in SN1, SN1 uh, substitution nucleophilic unimolecular reaction, I have told you racemic mixture. So racemization means when 50% dextrorotatory compound and 50% levorotatory compounds are mixed in a beaker, then that rotation of plane polarized light, it will be it, it will not rotate the plane of polarized light because the opposite force of rotation cancel each other. That type of mixture is known as racemic mixture and the process is known as racemization. I think all, all of you clear about these types of important words. <coughs> then, next is your chemical properties. We will go to again chemical properties. First one is discussed nucleophilic substitution reaction SN1 and SN2 of haloic alkanes. Sorry. Then, next is your elimination reaction. That is also called as beta elimination reaction. Okay. Why it is called beta elimination reaction? Please see. This is the second chemical property. <laughs> Elimination reaction. So this is also called a beta elimination reaction. First, you have to clear about the beta, alpha beta. Suppose uh, we will take one example. C. Cl. Is one? Okay. This is your H. This one 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 is your H. The carbon compound containing the halogen or functional group that is your alpha carbon and next to the carbon atom beta. Then next to it carbon atom is present that is your comma. So, you know, in between carbon and halogen, which one is more electronegative? Halogen. So, the shear pair electron will attract towards the chlorine. Clear? Then chlorine will be negative, will be removed. Then it will be positive. Carbon will be positive. Then after formation of carbocations, it will attract any one of the beta hydrogen. These are known as beta hydrogen. This one is a beta carbon. Any one of the beta hydrogen to form double bond between the carbon and carbon okay in presence of KOH alcoholic so double bond then Cl minus K plus KCl then after receiving the electron of hydrogen it will be positive this H plus and OH minus you see okay then it will form C double bond C X X X X plus what are the product KCA plus HT. So it is known as beta elimination. And from the position of beta, hydrogen is eliminated. Chlorine is not eliminated. Chlorine itself okay, replaced by itself. But hydrogen eliminate. So it is known as beta elimination. Okay. And elimination, in elimination reaction, the small molecules like ammonia, HCl, H2O are removed. Okay. So in a, for a or, uh, there is a, a largest means a, um, large compounds, the alkyl parts, more bigger alkyl parts 
will be prefer more bigger alkyl pairs. For example, suppose there is product two products alkene given CH3, CH, uh, CH2, CH double bond, CH bond, CH3. One product is found. Okay, another product CH2, CH2, CH double bond, CH2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Both are painting, but position is different. Double bond. Painting 1 in, painting 2 in. Paint 2 in, paint 1 in. So which, which should be more product, major product? First one. Major. Major product. Because you know the secondary carbocation is more stable. So these are all about elimination reaction. So, students, you go through my video and uh, you can ask me if any doubt, then we'll uh, next class we will uh, discuss the third that is a reaction with metals. Then um, after that we'll discuss that is your uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction and electrophilic substitution reaction in halo arenes. Okay, thank you.